celebrating your 93rd birthday. Thanks to Uncle Frank for bringing you over to our house. You were 25 and I was 15. You, Frank and Jack, would come over all the time and make us laugh. You had asked me to dance when we'd go to Uncle Frank's fountain room. And Frank would always say, Al has a crush on you because he really does a dance. You celebrated your 26th birthday at our house on a Sunday, July 19th, 1953. Then I knew you would be the special person I would spend my life with. Our first date, when Patsy came to San Antonio for McAllen, I fell flat on my face at a dance uh, lounge. And you said, what am I doing with this kid? Well, after about 65 great years together, we're celebrating your 93rd birthday here with our wonderful children and grandchildren. Happy birthday, Al. Happy birthday, Dad. I wanted to go ahead and get the subtleties out of the way first. Yes, I need a haircut, but I do want you to notice that I shaved today. So, good to see you. So, Dad, I just wanted to tell you that uh, I've had 59 years to learn your behavior, to uh, take in your subtleties, your sense of humor, your insults, uh, and of course your nicknames. But most of all, what I've taken in is I've learned from your love for life, your zest for life, your insatiable uh, charisma, likability, and the fact that you taught me how to be a man and to love and take care of my family and to put them first. And for that, I thank you. However, Dad, I would like to say that I didn't learn any of my construction habits from you. All I can tell you is, though, with that said, is the fact that you have to spend a whole lot more on the candles for your birthday than the birthday cake itself tells me you've lived a long, healthy, vibrant life. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Dad. The Big 93. You've always been my hero. You're the life of the party and always the fun guy to be around. I love you and here's to many more. Hello, all. You know I love golf a lot. <laughs> There's one thing I love more than golf. And that's Alba Jowdy, my father-in-law, which I'm very proud to be. All I can say is, Albert, happy birthday. Cheers to you. You're the greatest. Holy moly! Can you believe you're 93? Happy birthday, Papa. I hope it's the best year ever. I love you. Happy birthday, Papa. 93! I just wanted to let you know how much I love you and how much of a role model you've been throughout my life. You are so hardworking, so driven, so passionate, but also compassionate and loving to the people around you. And you're exactly the type of person that I strive to be. And it's why I, you know, work so hard in my job, but also try to be there for the family members around me. It's because of the example that you set. And um, I know you have hearing aids, so in case you can't hear me, the takeaway of this message is, I love you so much. I love you. And I wore my Texas shirt for you. Hey Papa, it's Michael out here. Just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Papa. I just wanted to say that I'm so thankful for you. 
There is never a dull moment in life when we are all around you. You are probably the most funniest person in our entire family and I am thankful for that because you gave everyone in this family a good sense of humor. Happy birthday and I hope you have an amazing, amazing day. Papa, happy birthday. Uh, congrats on the 93. Um, hopefully we're still rolling. Um, Hopefully you stay safe from this coronavirus. Um, hopefully you have a great day and uh, can't wait to see you soon. Um, I love you and uh, go for two. Happy birthday, Papa. 93, you're getting up there. Um, I hope you're spending this day with the ones you love um, and I hope it's a great birthday. And I wanted to thank you um, because you have created the foundation in which our family has established its fundamental characteristics. You've been fearless, courageous, loving, funny, relentless at times. Um, and you've created a standard for the Jowdy name, and I only hope I can live up to it. So just, again, happy birthday, and I love you.